Thank you for tuning in to A Graders. Here's what to expect. Today we have with us an experienced science curriculum writer, Miss Jody, who will share with us what a P3 child will be learning for science in the month of January. So Jody, what will a P3 child be learning in January? For P3, since science is a new topic that they learn, alright, they will first start with a basic thing called classification. So what the child has to do is that they have to learn how to classify items or objects or even things based on whether they are living thing or non-living thing. And they have to classify them based on the six characteristics of living things. So they have to remember that living things respond to changes, living things grow, living things die, living things reproduce, living things move by themselves, and living things need air, food and water. So these are the six characteristics they have to use to identify whether an organism or an object is a living or non-living thing. And they will have more questions, questions that shows flow chart, classification mm -hmm. chart, and they have to identify the characteristics based on this flow charts and classification chart. I see. So they will have actually to refer back to the diagrams or the flow charts and to answer questions. Yes. So what are some of the common mistakes that you see in students? Okay, for common mistakes, most uh, a lot of students actually misread questions, whereby the question is actually prompting them to answer uh, similarities of an organism, but somehow they actually identify the differences instead and vice versa. Also, when, when it comes to flowchart questions, what happens is the chart, the flowchart actually identify or uh, show three different, maybe three characteristics, but the students actually only mention one in the answer. So they actually lose marks on that. Mm -hmm. And as well as another one which is any question that ask about differences. Mm -hmm. What happens is most students or quite a number of students actually try to shorten their answer so they end the sentence with does not. For example, uh, for example, a bird has wings but a whale does not and they, and they end it there. So what happens in this scenario is that they don't obtain any marks at all because the teacher would actually question them does not have one. So what they have to do is actually write a complete sentence which is a bird has wings but a whale does not have wings. Okay, so what can parents do to help their child improve? Okay, for parents, uh, what they can do is that uh, when they're outside, maybe they can question the child to identify which are living things, which are not. So they, in order to help them uh, use the characteristics of living things that they've learned to identify them, and also uh, to do or practice more flow chart or classification chart questions mm -hmm. because these are the easiest to get marks but it's also the, the, the easiest to get yeah, mistakes mistakes. from yes. yes and another thing is that they can actually uh, give them more practice based on the uh, question that we will provide later on and also the, uh, a video that we will provide later on based on this topic itself I understand, yeah. thank you very much thank you to watch more of such videos and information to help your child improve and learn ahead of others in school, visit our website www.agrader.sg, click on this button, fill in your email address and receive all these useful videos straight in your inbox for free. As well as the latest in promotions so that you don't lose out on great deals with A Grader Learning Centre.